Hey guys, today we're making a cute miniature Nutella jar, so I hope you'll enjoy. You first want to take some scrap clay and make half of the jar. I'm going to be using a similar technique as the one in my Pepsi bottle tutorial. The difference though is that the shape of this glass makes it so that you can't do it the exact same way where you make the top and the bottom, so instead we're going to be making two sides and then attach them to each other. The plastic I used for this project was a bit too thick to really pick up on the lines at the top, so depending on the type of plastic you use, you may or may not want to skip these. Once you're done, attach it to a stand made from clay and bake. I then took a piece of plastic from some packaging and heated this over a tea light to soften it, then pushed it over the clay to give it the shape. You want to make two of these and trim off any excess. I then took some mold putty and made a mold from the same clay piece, added brown clay to make it look like the Nutella, then baked that, made another half, put the first half on top and then baked again. I then just glued each half of the plastic onto the clay. Because the plastic didn't really pick up on the details at the top, I just added some glue to give it a bit of texture. I've done this before, although I do prefer when it's the plastic itself that has the shape. To make the lid, I took some good quality printer paper and for the rim I just used an X-Acto knife or the back of an X-Acto knife and made the ridges. Then cut that out, glued it into a circle shape glued that onto another piece of paper and cut it out. Lastly, you just want to make the label and for this I took some of the thinnest paper I had and then just used my watercolors as well as some acrylic paint. When you're done, you can seal it with a glaze, and when you're using watercolors, I find that they bleed a bit more than watercolor pencils, so for this I prefer using a spray glaze. Cut that out, glue it onto the jar, and you're done. 